Severe MMA, we're here at the weigh-ins for Bama 22 in beautiful Dublin Island, and we're joined by UFC middleweight Scott Askham. Now, Scott, you're here because you've got some teammates fighting with Mark Diacasey and what have you, but we want to talk about UFC Dublin because that's got to be something you're really excited about. Yeah, obviously it's a lot smaller show out here in Dublin, but that you can tell straight away how much to get behind it and how much to enjoy it, and I'm excited to get out here next month and um, put on a show for fans. Yeah, you know, you're fighting Christoph Jocko, and uh, I know you guys have that the one in your records is a common opponent. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, yeah. it's, it, but it, what is it about? What is it about this? Is, is there something about the seed and ball factor? Is that how you figure you guys got yeah. put together? Yeah, possibly. We, we, we both got good records. We, we same blemish on his record. Um, a lot of people talk about that. I, I can imagine uh, Magnus sat behind all screens uh, laughing his head off at it. But um, yeah, if you, if you want to look at them fights, um, how, how they both went down. I think they both went down a lot differently. So yeah. if you do want to just look at them them fights, um, it says itself. Uh, well, it's certain how they ended, I think, yeah. the finishes and what have you. Look, uh, he's got the loss on his record, but again, as you've pointed out, he's got a real, he's got a decent record. What yeah. makes him dangerous? Where where is where is he going to prove to yeah. be? It's, it's, it's a tough question, really. I ain't going to slag him much back and forth with him like where I want to disrespect him or anything, but. Uh, where is he dangerous? You, you tell me. I, I, I think that he's. See, and I feel I, I'm not a fighter, but, but I see him as being quite okay at everything, but not yeah, not yeah. not stand out yeah, at exactly, anything. Yeah, that's exactly. I'd I'd I'd, I'd um, explain him. Um, he ain't got no factor, as in um, where you think. Yeah. Oh shit. No, I don't want to go there. I don't want this to happen. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, but that being said, I'm not underestimating him. He's, um, he's a decision ma machine. He, make, he gets a lot of decisions. And he's got the wins. So, uh, I want to keep that in back of my mind and make sure I go in there and get and do my game and get a job done. You know, you, the last the last performance you had in the UFC, you know, beautiful finish. That must have felt really nice. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you looking to? to sort of continue that thing. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, I'd love to keep that pace. Uh, what, what a fight I wouldn't. Uh, I'm just, I want to show people that I'm a change fighter now at ASW, I'm a better fighter, and um, I, I want to make a run at title. Um, if you asked me this question six months ago, I've, I've, I've been talking with my team that I probably would have lied about it when they said, do you think one day you become world, world champion? I, I would have said, yeah, obviously, because you stuck my hit in front of me, and I, I would have said, yeah. But now at ASW, I do actually believe I can become world champion, and um, I'm, I'm learning every day. I'm becoming a better fighter every day. I'm not saying I'm ready for a title shot now, and I, and I know it's going to take a lot of hard work, but I know I can get there, and I'm willing to put in the work. Everybody knows I'm willing to put in the work, and uh, that's where I want to be. I want to be in them top 10, top 15 fights, I want to keep pushing forward so I get them title shots. You know, you, you've spoke, we've spoken in, in many times since you've started with ASW, and you know every time you rave, you've always been very big on what what they're giving you. But now you have an opportunity to help that brand grow. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, yeah, obviously we'll, we'll both grow together, sort of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know really how to answer that really. Yeah, you've, opened, you've, you've now opened the ASW, you know, this is a new business venture as well as, you know, a, a place to train. You're, you're coaching people. Oh, oh yeah, you yeah. You've got an ASW now. So, but, oh, but that, yeah. but that's oh, that's got yeah. to feel good too because you're so committed to what they're doing and now yeah, you yeah. get to... How, yeah, how did that um, come about? Obviously, ASWM's a fair, coaching's always something I've wanted to do, it's always something I wanted to be a part of. Um, um, I love teaching, I've, I've done a little bit of teaching in the past and I, and I enjoy it. Uh, seeing students uh, develop the, their game through stuff you've taught them, uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling, it's a fantastic feeling and uh, to, to be able to get that back is great. Uh, now I'm at ASW, I know what days I've got free and, and what days I haven't got free. Um, I'm there every morning, uh, which frees up some nights, you know what I mean? And also, Mark, uh, me and Mark do different things on the night. He, he trains in the morning with me, he goes off to his, his, does his boxing and stuff like that. So, as a team working together, uh, I think that it can be great things. A lot of, I, I've spoken to a lot of fighters who, you know, practice their craft in the cage and coach as well. 
because the coaching helps them examine their own game. Are you finding that your that coaching helps you analyze what you do? Yeah, yeah. I've noticed um, when I start coaching before, um, you break you break stuff down a lot more, and um, you can't beat drilling stuff. Yeah. Drilling, drilling's winning. You know what I mean, you've got, you've just got to keep drilling, and you've got to nail it. Um, you've just got to make everything as common as a jab. You know what I mean, you've, you've, everybody's thrown a jab that many times. That's all, that's what you got to do it. Uh, I'm also a big believer, like um, if you are doing a technique in the gym, what you're getting and. Uh, um, when you're tired, you don't always get it. It's never going to work in a fight. It, it needs to be repetition like that. If, if, if it's not working like that in gym, it's not going to work in fight because you, you, that split second that you're thinking, it's gone. And, and so repetition is everything. <laughs> through the drilling, through the training, I know you've said that your opponent is a decision, decision machine. I, I presume you would prefer not to go decision. Is there a finish in this one? I always look for a finish, Steve, you know that. Um, I'm going out for a finish. Uh, the, the SW, I'll go back to SW, they've the built a different mentality in me. Um, I, I always were about winning rounds and winning fights before. If I got the finish, I got the finish. But da Darren, do Darren doesn't think like that. He thinks totally different. Uh, obviously, he wants me to win rounds, but he wants me to go out there and dominate, and he wants me to go out there and put the fear of God into the next person that's fighting me. He's not thinking about the person who's fighting me now. He's thinking about the people who, who, who I'm going to be fighting in the future, and he, he wants me to take the arm on with me, he wants me to take the chin on with me and, and um, put a statement out there to all division who Scott Askham is. You know, one last question, Scott, and, I know, and, and we'll let you go, but we, we, we've been to uh, the UFC when they came to Dublin and the noise was tremendous, but you always bring the Askham army along with you. Are the Askham army going to be travelling out? Oh, yeah, 100%. They're always travelling out. Uh, I've, I've just got a message today, actually, uh, some more of my to get tickets uh, just, just today. Uh, I seen uh, earlier that uh, UFC released a few more tickets. Um, it's going to be crazy out here. Um, I can't, I can't say they're going to be as, <laughs> as loud as the Irish. Obviously, we're, we're going to be outnumbered, but um, hopefully, the Irish join in and get behind me. It's going to be a cracking event. <laughs> Scott, I, we appreciate your time. Before I let you go, uh, the one final thought. We've all, we always, I always ask you about the bonus, and I know you say you're not changed, but. How disappointed! You must have been a little bit disappointed. Like, you should almost feel like you were robbed a little bit. You gonna you gonna get the bonus this time? Uh, you, you could say that, yeah. But um, it just it's kept me hungry, and it. Um, <laughs> and the end of the day, when you're fighting on uh, a card like that with top fighters, it's always gonna be hard to get. But. Um, I know we're close. I could almost tell, taste it that close, but it's just kept me even more hungry. I, I, I want it so bad this time. So it's a lot of money, and it's, it's life changing. And uh, obviously, I'm always going to go out there, and I'm always a contender. You know, you know that. You've watched enough of my fights. You've seen me debut. You've seen, you've seen me, uh, my last fight, and uh, I'm always going to be a contender. That, that, that's 100%, and um, no doubt they'll start to come.